Monday morning to you. You are watching Youth and Politics only on Y in the morning. You play right breakfast show. We do this every week from Mondays to Friday. My name is Hilda Wadidi, so make sure you do stand by and contribute in the conversation. On Twitter, you can find us at Y254 channel. The hashtag is Y in the morning. Hashtag Youth and Politics if you like to be more specific. And on Facebook, we are at Y254. On Instagram, we are at Y254 underscore channel. And in case you miss any of the valuable insight here, you can find us on YouTube at Y254 channel. And you, and you guys, my name is Joy Mochache. Welcome once again to Youth and Politics. You can find me on Twitter on Joy underscore Mochache. We've got two wonderful guests with us here today on Youth and Politics. Mm -hmm. I'll begin with the one seated on my right. Mm -hmm. His name is Benjamin Kenga Akida. He's our political analyst for today. He's the one who is going to be digging in na kuchamboi zovitu and to be telling us what certain things we're going to be, be discussing really are about. Mm -hmm. And our next guest is Beverly Owino. She's a constituency representative representative of Langata constituency under the Youth Governors of Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a wonderful lady mm -hmm. and uh, she's actually very beautiful mm -hmm. and we're glad to have her here and we love to celebrate women on this show but mm -hmm. this is not the show for women mm -hmm. but we're glad to have her here and she's a youth mm -hmm. and you guys she's in a leadership position so it's a big deal. Yes, and today we are discussing is, are we ready? Are we ready? The youth in Kenya have been complaining that we are not involved when it comes to but even if we were to be involved, are we ready? However, it's about that time we let our guests say good morning to you before we delve into the conversation. Um, good morning. My name is Beverly Owino. I'm a fourth year engineering student at Multimedia University of Kenya. I'm here courtesy of Youth Governors Kenya. You can reach me on my social media accounts, Beverly Akinyi3 on Twitter and Beverly Owino on Facebook. Thank you. Good, good morning. My name is Benjamin Kenga Kida. Uh, I'm a student of political science and public administration all the way from uh, from Moy University and Kilifi County. I'm here today you know, to give out my views on youth and politics. Mm -hmm. And today for our discussion, for the very first time, oh, oh my God, I forgot your social media handle, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, you can find me on Facebook at Ben Jamin Kenga. Mm -hmm. Ben Jamin Kenga. Ben Jamin Kenga. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I hope that clarification has reached home. Anyway, today on Youth and Politics, we are going to break the monotony of the discussion. Today, we are going to be playing a small game. We are going to talk about the big, the big five when it comes to youth leadership in this country. The big five. What are these things that are standing in the way of us achieving whatever it is we want to achieve? And with us today on the table, we have five placards, which uh, each of us is going to pick, and we're going to discuss on that particular issue. So feel free to weigh in on any of this above big five issues that are standing in the way between whether or not we participate when it comes to governance. OK? So I don't know if we start from Joy's. Joy, you want to start? You want to pick yeah, one? Yeah, sure, I can pick something. OK, pick one. I hope I'm not too far. <laughs> Let's see. I have picked out youth, power, and attitude. Power, power and, and attitude. attitude. To be specific, power and attitude. Okay, so power and attitude. And the power and attitude are very esteemed guests. When it comes to the youth who have already gotten to positions of leadership and have the power, many Kenyans have been complaining that they have not done anything with that power. So does it affect us when we get there? So let me understand from Beverly. Um, thank you. Before we get to talking about the youth that are already in power, mm -hmm. let's talk about the youth that are stri striving to get to power or that are on, on the outside. So mm -hmm. what's happening is the youth are not aware that politics is an important part of their lives. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, Pericles says that we may not take interest in politics, but th that does not mean that interest won't, I mean, politics won't take interest in you. Yeah. Everything we do, oh, up wait, 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 repeat, repeat that one again. Please repeat that one. I want, the, I want the youth to catch this one. You may not take interest in politics, okay. but politics will take interest in, in you. you. Okay. Like for example, all the issues that affect us as the youth, not only the youth, but the women, the men, the children, everything sums up to politics. Mm -hmm. The things we complain about, lack of quality education, water shortage, things like that. Zote Zinakam, they sum up to politics. politics. So it's high time the youth embraced politics as something they can't live without. Yeah. Then about the, poli the youths in power, I'm not sure about the challenges that they really face up there, but maybe, okay, going by the challenges they faced to get to those positions, mm -hmm. 
you see vying as a youth it's going it's difficult very difficult for them because they have to go through intimidations by the older people you see where they say no we can't be led by this young person he doesn't yeah. even know how to manage a family and stuff mm. but the youth need support we need the support to get where we want when mm. they go into those uh when they go vying for those leadership positions they are enthusiastic and energetic that they're going to do this they're going to make sure this is achieved but they they need the support to keep the energy you see because this interest can dissipate at any time okay so you're saying what's lacking when it comes to attitude and youth in inside power is the lack of support uh, and also they believe could be one of them yeah and yeah. also the, the the thought that um we've got maybe a generation that does not think that they could be led by someone who is younger yeah, 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 or yeah. they have maybe a mindset that's very uncomfortable with that they're like this person is young how can they govern me yeah yeah something mm. of the sort then also i think uh maybe we should look into these positions are they really do they really hold those positions or are they just there for example the youths in government we don't know what positions they really actually hold. <laughs> there are very few. We have okay, the MPs, mm -hmm. we have people like Honorable Babuino. Yes. But the top officials in the youth, uh, how do you call them? In the youth, youth governing positions. Yeah, youth governing positions. Yeah. Most of them are not youths. Mm -hmm. So we really can't blame the youths for not working while there. Okay, what do you mean most of them are not really youths? Because uh, from last year, I remember last year, there was some meeting which was headed, okay, we went to KICC mm -hmm. and we were supposed to talk about spaces for youth, safe spaces for youths mm -hmm. in Kenya. I, I, I tell you, three quarter of the people who were there to talk to us were not youths. Oh. As I saw it, <laughs> they weren't quite youths. Yes. But even if they were, they weren't for us. Uh -huh. Like after the, whole, after the whole talk, I went home feeling more empty mm. than I went there. Mm. Yeah, something of the sort. Something of the sort. Can we give Benjamin a chance as well to say something about this? Uh, actu actu actually, uh, there are mixed reactions to, uh, among the youth towards, uh, towards politics. Mm -hmm. The people don't just get it. It is based on the stereotypes uh, that our society and our cultures have been having for, for so long. Mm -hmm. uh, youth has been, has been dominated by, by older men, actu actually. Why? Because the youth do not have res resources actually to to move into these spheres, mm -hmm. and and the current leadership mm -hmm. has neglected to try to bring the the youth aboard alongside to govern or to lead alongside. Mm -hmm. The youth are just being used to to intimidate to achieve goals, but mm -hmm. the youth themselves mm -hmm. have not realized who they have the power. To, to change things. What I'm hearing from both of you is you're tackling the issue of attitude more. Attitude, the issue yeah. of attitude towards young people mm. and uh, to, that young people have towards mm. politics. But there's also the issue of power because power. there are some who have gotten to that, uh, to that, yeah. to those positions. There are some very, young. Very true. Yes, very, there's very some. True. Yes, there's some young members of parliament that are there who are below 35. Mm. However, I liked what you had said when we discussed previously. You talked about that those in power aren't really in power. Why don't you expand more on that? Uh, the ones in power aren't really, are really in power because uh, for them to, to, uh, to go to the levels of power, mm -hmm. they're sponsored by well-connected individuals. Mm -hmm. Some other times these, uh, these, uh, these youths are either form, former student leaders mm -hmm. who are sponsored by politicians to enter into the political circles mm -hmm. or they could be children. Mm -hmm of the uh, pol political uh, elite. Wow. Uh -huh. uh, the major yeah. thing that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that you're seeing, Kua, uh, the Kenyan leaders, uh, they have a habit of welcoming on board mm -hmm. their kings or, or their relatives, mm. or depending on connection. Mm -hmm. Why? If you don't have a connection, since the youth there's do, no do not way have money going. To, yeah. to fund themselves, there's, no way, uh, there's no way that they'll be in positions of power. Mm -hmm. and that's why we say, the ones in positions of in of of power mm -hmm. are, are not actually in positions of power mm -hmm. because they are not the ones holding the reins. They are mm -hmm. being controlled by people from above. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a good thing that a current bill has been passed on on non political sponsorship or sponsorship for, for political parties. Mm -hmm. I believe this is a good thing for for the youth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, the youth do not have res resources to venture out into politics. Mm -hmm. If if political parties are going to be sponsored, mm -hmm. it means that we are going to get youth 
that couldn't sponsor themselves mm. Mm. to now come in into the sphere of leadership. So basically the campaign the campaign advantage is going to cease to exist after this yeah. after this bill is passed. However, let me hear from Beverly. Um you are uh, you're in a position of power yourself and uh, and our analyst here is accusing you guys of being controlled by people. So can you tell us is this true? Okay, so under my position, actually, mm -hmm. I work under an organization, Youth Governors Kenya. Mm -hmm. We are not owned by anyone, and we are not elected to those positions. Mm -hmm. It's actually voluntary, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. So we come up, we came up and thought, let's do something for the youth. Mm -hmm. Let's educate the youth on what they need. Let's empower them. Mm -hmm. So in my position, I think I'm doing what I can so far. Mm -hmm. I go to, I, I attend mentorships at high schools and primary schools. Mm -hmm. Tell them, give them civic education. Tell them their rights. Uh, they elected them about the electoral process and what they should expect teach them how to vote in the right leaders and things of the sort uh, okay 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 let's Do let's let's finish on that one uh, can I add on let's that? conclude on this mm -hmm. one. Uh, it's a good thing that uh, you say the, uh, the leadership uh, position that you may represent is voluntary mm -hmm. unfortunately we uh, the government the uh, the policy maker makers have not set up systems to put these uh, lead leaders into place. You can see Ngana, this is a leader, mm. but he's a personal leader. Mm. She's Working in she's the individual. Volunteering. Yeah. Individually Ngana, for an organization. Mm. Ngana, we are the institutions that are supposed to, uh, to nurture these leaders. Mm. Exactly. The government okay. institutions. Okay, and more to do with such organizations formed by the youth is that just like he said, they're overtaken by political leaders who then corrupt the system, you see. That's why they don't get far most of them. Youth Governors Kenya isn't the first youth organization that has been formed targeting the youths. Mm. Many have been formed before and others are yet to be formed. Yeah. But they fail to come to fruition and achieve their goals because they're corrupted by politicians mm. somewhere in the middle the structure is not necessarily a pure road to yeah, travel on yeah, yeah it's one based on okay there's not much merit maybe maybe you have to know somebody like he mentioned it's not really based on the fact that merit or i can do this i can lead the people mm. Mm, i can understand that i can understand that and to conclude this topic about mm. attitude because we need to go into the next mm. topic attitude what i'm seeing it's very important when it comes to leadership you need to, especially when you put someone into a position of leadership, in your mind, you really need to believe that this person is going to do something for me. Mm -hmm. That is what a leadership um, feeling should bring about. Mm -hmm. But when you're bringing about the feeling of putting people down because maybe they're younger than you, mm -hmm. or thinking that I don't think you can govern, I feel like since I'm older than you, I think I should be the one that is mm -hmm. telling you what mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. There is a problem with that. And so mindset, mindset and attitude is really, really something we need to work on as a country if we want our youth to take on positions in the government. I like that. I like that. So in conclusion, I've understood is the attitude of the older generation needs to change towards the youth yes. and leadership. And also the attitude of the youth has to change towards politics and governance. Okay. Mm. All right. So um, Benjamin. Yes, Benjamin, you can pick the next one. And tell us what it's about. Yes. The next topic is is gender. Okay. Yeah. Gender. Okay. Ah. I know Beverly must be very excited <laughs> for this. So let's talk about gender. Gender. When it comes to gender, are there any stereotypes that stand in the way of youth representing us? Let me hear from Beverly. Uh, thank you once again. Gender. So what do we understand when we say gender? Mm -hmm. Gender, let's talk about the, for example, the two-thirds gender rule. Mm -hmm. This is something that was introduced in, say, 2010, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to ensure to that not more than two thirds of the members represented in parliament are from are of one gender. Mm -hmm. Till now, I don't think that has been implemented for reasons I don't understand quite much. Mm -hmm. I feel that <laughs> the women mm -hmm. have been uh, how do you call it, marginalized politically. Okay. Mm -hmm. We, we should be given, a ch okay, we've been given chances, but we still are not living up to the chances. Mm -hmm. I can't blame it on the, the society for not giving us the chances because for sure women, we've been given the platform. Mm -hmm. We've been supported, recently we've been supported and we've been uh, encouraged to take up these leadership positions. Mm -hmm. So I call upon women, actually. My call, is on, well, my call is to women to rise up and take up these positions. Mm -hmm. Most positions that are, are owned by women in the government, uh, in the government are, uh, they are nominated. Mm -hmm. They were not elected, you see. Mm -hmm. right. So we want, uh, we want a situation where the women can vie 
and be elected to be in those positions. Let it not be that we are there because, okay, like, we're, we're being favored or something. Let's fight for those positions. Uh, I know uh, now, actually, point. you're there because we need to fulfill the two over yeah, three two percent. So, because yeah. we need to fulfill that, you yeah, might as well take sense. that position. Yeah. No, we it's have not to fair. fight for the positions because mm. we can. And of course, most of us want to. Well, can I throw something at you that mm -hmm. you said, I think, in passing, but I really feel is a root of the problem? Mm -hmm. I think women also, to be specific, African women maybe don't feel like they are free to lead yeah i think because of the kind of traditions we have the kind of cultures mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. going back to attitude but not really touching on it too much that attitude also goes towards women mm -hmm. because if you're saying that most of our, our people are men then that means that they're thinking ah women also i don't want women, i don't want a woman to lead me mm -hmm. your work is probably go to the office come home and cook for me and that's what you should be doing mm -hmm. i don't see you sitting here I don't, I don't even want to picture you mm -hmm. <laughs> sitting here yeah. governing maybe a constituency or something of mm -hmm. the sort. And really, really, that's what I feel like is the issue. Um, the men are not giving the women a chance and also the women are not feeling comfortable because of that mindset that you guys don't even believe in us. Women are not even electing women. Let's exactly. We are exactly. The we don't support each other. We don't even vote in women. So the right. men are looking at us like, okay, so whose problem is this exactly? Anyway, let's, let's hear from you. A good thing is about the uh, the perspective towards gender mm -hmm. and towards women mm -hmm. is changing for the better. Mm -hmm. Put your mic up. Mm -hmm. Politically speaking, mm -hmm. socially speaking, mm -hmm. uh, women and fathers are, are beginning to uh, to trust on their daughters. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Our our society is believing to a uh, is, is beginning to uh, to believe in women. Mm -hmm. If we go to the political class, eh, we have been hearing talks about gender, gender equality, but are the leaders having the goodwill mm. for real mm. gender equality? Mm -hmm. Because as we talk of gen gender equality, we must not ignore other, other factors. Mm -hmm. For example, our, our cultural factors. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't ignore our cultural background. Even if we, you know, we are going to v to venture out into the uh, the uh, the contemporary world about gender equality, it's a good thing because we women hold up the uh, the other half of the sky. Mm -hmm. If if we don't call them to duty, mm -hmm. if we are not at equal terms with them, a society itakuwa inazidi kwa ndanyom. So kama wale ngo kuzuia the other half of the sky, tutaweka nyumbani, nchiye tu ngoli mungu tu nguta songa vip. Na kwa hivyo ni muhimu tusonge mbele na hizi na hizi issues za agenda. Mm. Lakini tukiongelea hizi issues za agenda mm. to see neg neglect other other genders kwa sababu na the gender topic. <laughs> uh, you want to bring both. Looks, uh, looks like a uh, like uh, like a uh, 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 woman's or a girl's topic. Mm -hmm. It's not a girl's topic. Mm -hmm. Ni nahusu vitu vingi vingi. The, uh, the boy child tunaona squeeze pia akona akona issues yeah. the boy child issues are also gender related issues mm -hmm. and the issues about homosexuality and, and such stuff mm -hmm. even though our culture has not moved forward mm -hmm. in this contemporary world mm -hmm. we are going to move forward into such directions so our our leaders mm -hmm. our policy makers should should begin now looking at gender mm -hmm. constructively rather than destructively yeah not destructively some other times we see some uh, some uh, some gender based organization mm -hmm. are in it for uh, for uh, for business mm -hmm. this is not business ah, yeah, our true. issues about our girls our women our boys our men mm -hmm. these are not issues to to make business out of or to mm -hmm. create fun out of mm -hmm. these are real issues mm -hmm. for us to move forward as a society mm -hmm. we should move together as one. Mm -hmm. As one. So it's about, yeah. for you, it's about the balance. It's the, the, balance. Uh, the balance, It's yeah. not really about any gender. It's just it's balance. Yeah, balance. balance. Finding Both. the balance. Yeah, mm -hmm. finding okay. the balance. I think, I think we're done with that, yeah? Yeah. Right. I think we've... Or, or do you have anything to add before we... Just nothing. Okay. Okay, so I think the best we can do, let's empower the girl child 
and educate the boy child on how to uh, deal with empowered, empowered girl, girl child. Children. Yeah, <laughs> how to accept yeah. the empowered when girl child. When them also. Ah, okay. yeah. I think by that we could reach that balance. Okay. Exactly. We have another team to, uh, to, uh, to add for the, for the boy child. <laughs> Real quick, for the boy child. Uh, <laughs> as much as you want to, uh, to, uh, to empower the, uh, the girls, mm -hmm. we must acknowledge certain facts. Mm -hmm. Who are, religion does not lie. Mm -hmm. History, philosophy, <laughs> and... Biology or chemistry mm. does not change. Mm. Okay. As much as we are calling for gender equality, mm -hmm. we must realize who are the, uh, the men have been at, at the front uh, forefront of the society. Mm -hmm. These are the guys who you know, wake up to go to work. Mm -hmm. These are the guys who fight battles for their family. Mm -hmm. As much as we, uh, the women are going to be, to be empowered, mm -hmm. I want to urge the, the people out there, mm -hmm. through your, your empowerment, mm -hmm. Don't cause a uh, uh, ganinio to other rights now. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't oppress other rights. Hakizako okay. ngizisirizidi hakizingine. Uh, yeah. I like that. So you're still on balance. 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 You don't don't get the power and then come and oppress you. Uh, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting. So now I think it's your turn, Beverly. Pick one. And this is on money and financial security. Okay, money and financial security. Money. This one, I think even we started mentioning talking about this from the very beginning when yes. people mentioned this topic. Mm. When it comes to financial security amongst young people, could this be something that stands in the way between our participation and governance? So let's hear from our leaders over here. Let's find out what they think. So do you have anything for them when it comes? Because I can only tell you talked about the campaign, uh, the bill that's going to help the 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 young people. The old, the young people not have that unfair advantage when it comes to uh, campaigning for, for political seats. So I'd like to understand when it comes to financial security. What do you have to tell the young people? Uh, when it comes to money and financial security, mm -hmm. I think the first thing that comes to our minds is unemployment. Mm -hmm. As it stands now, the major problem facing the youth in Kenya, I think, is unemployment. Mm -hmm. We don't know where we can get the money to see how we move forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think what we can do about this is to... We, we can't all go to, okay, all of us are supposed to go to school, but we don't all expect to get out of campus and land on, land on jobs immediately. So I think we could talk to our youths. We could do many things that could make, uh, help them know how to cope to do with finance. Mm -hmm. Say we could uh, encourage the uh, youth skill development. You know, skills are, lo are long term. Are long -term. Mm -hmm. yes. When you have a skill, you can always use your skill to earn a li livelihood help others mm -hmm. or something of the sort. Mm -hmm. So you should, you should, we should encourage youth kid development mm -hmm. and also inculcate the spirit of entrepreneurship among the youth. Mm -hmm. The youth lack opportunities, you see. Yeah. So once we give them the opportunity to grow in what they, what they can do, mm -hmm. see someone knows how to weave Mm -hmm. Will and sell what you get from that. Mm -hmm. That way you're going to be able to earn a livelihood. Mm -hmm. uh, a nation that has, uh, okay, let's say, Mm -hmm. In a country like Kenya, the youth are the most popu most populated. We are, we have the, we are the majority. Mm -hmm. So when uh, all of us, if it happens that all of us have jobs mm -hmm. and are able to earn a way of income, earn some income, mm -hmm. our nation is going to be more economically stable. Uh, stable. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about youth mm -hmm. um, and money as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. yes, it is the fact of unemployment mm -hmm. and also the fact that and this touches on another topic we're going to discuss a little bit later on, mm -hmm. our education system, because it's more of, um, of um, I don't know, we need to teach our people more of a skill-based education. Mm -hmm. That is what is important for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so much, you know, biology and, you know, learning the parts of a locust. And those are things which are not going to help <laughs> anyone in this lifetime. Any, I don't even remember the body parts of a locust. A locust is very important. <laughs> you know, a locust can cause us to starve in this country. That is true. <laughs> but what's the, probability, what's the probability of that than teaching me something that's actually going to help me understand? Maybe mm -hmm. teach me how to save money. Teach mm -hmm. me how to, uh, maybe a short, very simple accounting class or something. Mm -hmm. To teach me how important money is so I don't throw 
for it. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like another issue we have is our youth throw money. Mm-hmm. Especially girls. Ah, we are refusing our saving. finances. We don't know how to save. Uh-huh. I don't know if you've ever walked up to, um, there's a survey we did for school because I was doing an essay. Mm-hmm. And I asked them, you know, okay, I think I need to get statistics. In mm-hmm. order to do that, I need to ask some people. Mm-hmm. So when I did that, I found out basically the fact that, ah, okay, people don't know how to save. I was asking people, do you have a bank account? No. Mm-hmm. For what? And I'm like, how old are you? 24. <laughs> You're asking me what you need a bank 24 account 24 without a bank really? account. And, and, and you go on like that. Do you have anything in your bank account? You ask the next person, I've seen a key too. And they're so proud of it. Like it's something, you know. So how, that's another so, issue. So are we ready? Again, we go back to the conversation. Are we ready? Even if we are given these positions of power, are we ready? 24 without a bank account. You are not serious. Anyway, let's hear, let's hear from our analyst all the way from Coast. I mean, it's oh, oh, you'd like to, to respond. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you know, for the average Kenyan youth, speaking from, from experience, mm-hmm. say I'm 21, I don't have a job. They sometimes don't have anything to save. You're going to be caught up in a place where utakula. No, no, you cannot say you don't have anything to save. There's no, that no, pocket no, no, money no. you're given that you go and throw on a Brazilian <laughs> instead of saving and you're 21. Attitude, there it is. 21. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, let's hear from Boychas. Let's hear from Boychas. <laughs> Mkweli ni kuwa na smart as sata tutaongelea savings na nini nini kwa mayuth. Mhm. Hakuna pesa za kusave. Mhm. Ni nchi yetu yenyewe. Ni nchi yetu ni central bank bank reserves. Hakuna savings za kuweza kutosha. Mhm. Oh nchi yetu za huyo. The government yani I mean. So even we have a bad example. The government is already in debt so we are also in debt. We are also in debt. Ah. So sasa you can talk about the financial responsibility or such things. <laughs> but actually, what kind of financial responsibilities should should they take <laughs> if there is no man, money for for finance? Mm-hmm. So now we are talking about giving them skills, mm-hmm. like, uh, an entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. Where are the youth going to find this? Are these are these funds? Mm-hmm. For example, in our country, we do not have money for research and development. Mm-hmm. Now where are we going to find young young scientists mm-hmm. develop formulas or such things? Mm. It's a trial and and and, and error game. Mm-hmm. It needs funding. Mm-hmm. And I would like to not commend the, the government also. Mm-hmm. You may say policy come up with mm-hmm. uh, the, uh, the youth enterprise development mm-hmm. fund, mm-hmm. which has provided cheap loans for mm-hmm. for entrepreneurs. And I would like to commend the government and uh, may provide uh, many, uh, many, many jobs for, for many youth can. Mm-hmm. Sawa, and that is commendable mm-hmm. on the government's part. Mm-hmm. But this is not enough. Mm-hmm. And if you are not going to, uh, to include the, uh, the youth in the planning, mm-hmm. formulating, mm-hmm. and organizing of these structures, mm-hmm. And many of it is. You have to include the youth in this thing. Yes. You have to include the youth in the Kutoka ones. And many of these uh, good uh, youth initiatives are lost in implementation. Exactly. They are not and implemented. Are so, two years in a potia wuku. At a is an idea, a youth in a Takujanao. Itakuwa na washado na na sponsor. Mm. And when I talk about sponsor, I'm not talking about sponsor, sponsor, the sponsor. <laughs> no. Sponsor funds. Mm. Uh, it's as simple as even in Pesa. Yes, in economic independence. That's true. I like that. I like that. We should start creating mm-hmm. ways in which we are going to empower the youth, economically speaking. Okay. Economically speaking, setting up Pesa or an end. All right. Um, I think I think we are about to conclude this segment. However, I think we have to do one more. At least let's tackle one more. Okay. Oh goodness. This one is health and drug abuse. Can you imagine? Now this one is a big problem when it comes to young people. Then, yeah? are we in good health? And not just physically, even mentally. Are we in good? day that uh, the, the, the majority of suicides that are happening in this country are of people aged between 15 to 29. Yes. So the youth in, in this country are apparently very depressed. Eh? Yeah. So let's talk about mental health and drug use. And I'd like to start with the analyst because uh, you're from Kifi and the, and the, and the youth in, in the coastal region have, 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 have gotten a very, very bad reputation when it comes mm-hmm. to drug use and idling. So let's hear from you. Is this true? Drug abuse and health, mm. now, these are very important issues mm-hmm. because society has to see signal. Mm-hmm. 
drug abuse mm -hmm. ngani minus kubwa kubwa sana ngeme to face si, mm -hmm. si, si bangi si unga mm -hmm. si cocaine si heroin mm -hmm. si mabugizi you know at at a squeezing and they abuse simple uh, drugs from uh, from the shop like in a panadol even the cough but syrup question is, is why are, are we abusing yeah, drugs what's happening why are we using drugs like that as young as people as what's as wrong as 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 drugs in indicate no corner problem no kwa society yet uh. in in the society actually mm -hmm ndugu zetu wazazi wetu nini 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 but the social fabric nimekuwa loose mhm squeezing is kama vile kitambo mtoto wa mtu alikuwa alikuwa anaweza kuwa punishment ngana jirani squeezing ni kila mtu ni mambo yake sasa kama mzazi ataangalia jirani akivuta bangi kwa kwa compound alafu ngrasemi na report na kwa relevant authorities mtoto wake na the next day na kingilia na the same same manners na tamlomuna so you subscribe to the school of thought that it takes a village to raise a child yeah, not just individual village, effort to, okay let's hear from beverly when it comes to drug use and health and the and the state of health amongst young people okay so on health and drug abuse mm -hmm. and more specifically mental health mm -hmm. i read somewhere that depression under mental health mm -hmm. is currently in the top 10 leading causes of death mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. this in is the very world. saddening yeah. not even here in the world, yeah, in the world. Wow. yes it's very saddening actually quite yes. saddening mm -hmm. you see people yes. people go through problems daily everyone is handling a situation you don't know anything about yes it. but we'd appreciate it if people would talk other mm -hmm. than turn to drugs or something mm -hmm. you're stressed up so much and i see this in campus from mm -hmm. people around mm -hmm. someone is stressed so much and they're saying actually then you learn to stress mm. and that's how it goes until you become addicted ah oh. but you so, see the issue i feel like is the reason why they keep quiet like that mm -hmm. um it's probably because they don't want that stigma mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because when you have stress if i was to go and pour my heart out to somebody they're probably just going to tell me ah you know by the way you just have too many feelings you're taking it too serious you know calm down life is like that issue so you also. issue you don't you don't want to do that and i mm -hmm. feel like you were right when you said in society yes. that society is a problem yeah but mine comes from a different angle mm -hmm. the reason why i feel that people young people especially abusing drugs mm -hmm. is because of society yes but because they're trying to numb themselves yes you're yes. trying to make mm. yani, things are so hard mm. things are so i don't know how to explain so disorderly mm -hmm. sometimes you don't even see a future for yourself yes. if you don't know somebody in this country how the hell are you getting a job yeah. mm -hmm. how will you get a, at least a good one yeah. you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah and when those things you think about them you're like is if it was an stress i had a plan i'm i'm so uh. talented but mm -hmm. i can't go anywhere Mm. because of societal issues mm -hmm. i need to numb myself yeah. when it comes to that it's all about numbing yourself to the reality around you you mm -hmm. don't want the reality around you to be true do you think that this this is contributed by the individual individualism kind of society like yes. your issues are yours the way you're saying family yes. now, what now neighbors everybody yeah. knows your issues mm. whatever is bothering you that's As your business we have not created other avenues for you know, for people to talk to people I'm to solve these uh, these problems mm -hmm. now we are seeing fif 15 years old mm -hmm. and, uh, girls or boys killing, killing themselves. themselves yes and they don't have pe people to talk to mm. and uh, the current society now mm -hmm. na dadi na uncle na na sister ko mkubwa wako so busy with mm. their own life mm. they are so busy 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 with life i don't know which anything, life yeah. and uh, they don't have time even for this is true. Yes. Yeah. Even Not your own cousin, you can't call and say. And Maybe depression. Point. And depression can cause you to become mentally unstable. And the worst thing about mentally, uh, uh, mental health in this country is, uh -huh. or in Africa, even generally, it's considered as a Western disease, like not something that. Yeah, it's considered madness. <laughs> yes, like you can't start <laughs> saying that you're mentally. Depression here yeah. yeah. is yeah. considered. Ah, she's mad. Is no, there even dude, medication? Which I'm sure it's not the Madari level. That's what you'll be told. Malafu. The rest, talk to Jesus. <laughs> Currently, in Zimbabwe, are the bad place at which you know, the youth are, mm. economically speaking mm -hmm. or financially speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as other avenues are easy. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's why you know, I keep So the pl this are the places you say you. I'm saying like you're trying to not say it out outright. Is that mm. you're saying uh, most of these people have found their base in illegal substances, even even in terms of uh, building themselves, even with capital and what yes. have you. People are selling drugs. People are doing yeah. to find to money. So job. they are taking. Okay, mm. let's very hear very from true. Beverly. Do you have any particulars for this particular drug use, and then we can complete for the day. 
okay, on drug abuse, health and drug abuse, mm -hmm. just like he said, we need avenues to talk to the youth mm -hmm. and discourage them from drug abuse while talking also to them about mental health and how to make sure they're healthy mentally. You see, because the moment we start being silent about the things that matter, mm -hmm. it's the moment we begin to die. These are the issues we're supposed to tackle as soon as now, because the time is now. Yes. These youth that are being involved in drug abuse right now are the future innovators, future leaders who's going to lead our country. Yes. If they're all going to perish through drug abuse, mm -hmm. HIV, AIDS, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. These are things that we're supposed to tackle. These are things that are not supposed to put us down as a country. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to go with, uh, let's say, sustainable, uh, how are they called, sustainable? Development goals or something. Mm -hmm, SDGs. Mm -hmm. Yes, SDGs. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're supposed to go because all these things that we've discussed mm -hmm. are in that list. Mm -hmm. If we go by that, implementing mm -hmm. each in this country, I think in the future we're going to be better placed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. right. And speaking of those things, education is one of the education is one of the things that is actually very, very serious when it comes to the youth. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about civic education or mm -hmm. skill based education or things like that. Mm -hmm. How would you say let me start with you, Benjamin? Mm -hmm. How would you say um, education system is affecting our youth when it comes to is it giving them a basis for the future or mm -hmm. is it just simply a waste of time? And is it preparing us is for leadership? Yes. Uh, uh, currently speaking, uh, like a no one to comment the uh, the Kenyan education system. Mm -hmm. It's better than other systems. Mm -hmm. But the Kenyan education system is mm -hmm. not enough. Mm -hmm. It is providing a graduate or so, uh, a skill set of people you know, that we don't need. Mm -hmm. you know, we are ballooning people. Mm -hmm. you know, we are not even encouraging people, uh, people to be cameramen. Mm -hmm. you know, while, uh, boys, the boys are loving these things. Mm -hmm. They're starting it early. Mm -hmm. Now parents are not encouraging them to be more skill-oriented. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo, tuna educate the wrong thing to the wrong people. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Now we are giving ourselves too much knowledge mm -hmm. which, uh, which, which we can't use. Which we're we are not using. We're all the wrong stuff, <laughs> basically. <laughs> no, it is not true. Mm. It is actually good. We are good not knowledge. using. The algebra, the word, the word, mm. but... Is it necessary for everyone? <laughs> or is every, everyone specialized in, in their own area? That's true. Yeah. That's true. At a young age, maybe, you start telling mm -hmm. people to age. choose. Yeah, cause Malamu Pia, according to the uh, a topic of, of education system, mm -hmm. Yes. So, I'm going to a story about the curriculum. Mm -hmm. But where are the, are the developments? Mm -hmm. You know, you are hearing Ms. Mr. Mantiangi before I came. I mm -hmm. was charged about the, the new curriculum. Mm -hmm. even, even, even books came, came out. <laughs> Ms. Kapua, CUE. And there was a lot of controversial And these issues. things take time to implement. Yeah, Can no, you but it went quiet. What kind of time? Mm -hmm. The new <laughs> curri curriculum has, has, has not been, uh, been, been implemented. Mm -hmm. You're going to primary school. Uh, like they're still learning oh this, are uh, the same same things mm -hmm. that we used to learn. To learn. Mm -hmm. And we all agreed to work. Mm -hmm. that the new curriculum mm -hmm. is a good thing. Mm -hmm. We should support it. Mm -hmm. But uh, are they uh, rolling it out fully? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's hear from Beverly. Do you believe our education system is preparing us to be the future? I think the education system, uh, the 844 mm -hmm. that we have currently, mm -hmm. doesn't quite deal on skill development in the children. Mm -hmm. We focus so much on the theory mm -hmm. that we produce half baked students to the film. Mm -hmm. Then they, they, they're not able to be employed because the company says, we were weak to how, how is it going to help my company? Yeah. So I think our education system should be more skill based, teach the children skills. Okay, I know that the lecturer can only give you 25 when you look for the 75, but still. <laughs> no, but you know, he said it in a good way. Yeah. I like that. Algebra the lecturer can everybody. only give you 25%. The 75% is it's you. you. Yeah, but yeah. still, let's encourage skill development in the youth. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. quickly. Malafu, education. Uh, uh, microphone. Uh. Education mm -hmm. does not uh, attach on 844 eight only. Yes. Education and uh, Nay transcend at Oku inje kwa social sphere. Nyumbani ni wapi ni to li mishane kila siku. Uchaguzi ngome tokezea ngis we do ng civic edu education. Yeah. Now yeah. we do it come uh come back it's the first time people are hearing this. Mm. And the Kenyan populace is not educated. And if it was educated And it's mm -hmm. not interested in being educated. It was educated with with the wrong kind of stuff. <laughs> and because uh, you know, these are these are these people mm. when they get out of campus mm. uh, they're not equipped to to handle real, real life mm -hmm. and that's why we're talking about youth of of 25 years 
aliulizwa kama ngana kuna account na na that's true yeah yeah na kwa hivyo na education school so ile na curriculum wala nini ya transcend court court mtu elimishane hata na majumbani kwetu ni makanisani ni best education iko kila mahali na iko tu si lazima uwe umesoma ndio ni asante sana All right, all right. I think it's about time we wind up this particular segment. But Beverly, do you have any last parting shot? Am I you're good to go? You want to say goodbye? Say goodbye. It's okay. Okay, on education. Mm -hmm. I think the youth should be should be taught their history mm -hmm. so that they are able to understand the current government. Okay. Yeah, that's all I can say. Great. You Understand know, your history you so that where you come from to uh -huh. know where you're going. Yeah, definitely. Say that one more time, Joy. You have to know where you come from to know where you're going. Mhm. Mm I like that. You have been watching Youth and Politics. Please don't go anywhere. Man Crush Monday is coming uh is coming up next. We've been having the very able Benjamin Kenga all the way from Kilifi County. We've had Beverly Owino, who is a youth governor here at Langata in Nairobi. And yes, and Joy, I will allow her to say goodbye to you herself. Cindy, all right? Hilda's comes up very, very well, and we're so glad that we touched on these topics today. You guys remember, you have to reach out to us. We need you to talk to us and tell us what you think about what we've discussed. Mm -hmm. They told you their social media handles. Mm -hmm. Feel free to tell them exactly what you think about mm -hmm. it. And once again, this was Why in the Morning, Youth and Politics. And we make sure you ask yourself, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah.